Hello guys, my name is Leto Sapphics. You can probably not tell um, that it is in fact me, but it is. My voice is so majorly fucked up. And I use majorly because we're talking about a major uh, <clears throat> that I didn't feel like streaming yesterday. And I think that's all right because I can barely fucking talk. Um, now, I wanted to make this video because it's very important. I don't know how many are going to be watching it with me talking like this. But anyway, I'm going to try to do it uh, somewhat swiftly. I'll probably not talk too much about my picks. Um, the first game is a bit of a weird one. Threat is not playing. So it's uh, NIP's four-man lineup plus their coach versus Flipside. Now, Flipside have been pretty good lately, but I still think it's going to go to NIP. So I'm going to just be buying this one, and we're going to throw this in. Um, checking out, see how long this takes. Might be a few people who are actually buying these uh, right now. <coughs> there we go, transaction completed, so we'll throw that in there. Then we have Luminosity Gaming versus Mouse Sports. And um, Luminosity Gaming is one of the best teams in the world right now, and I'm expecting them to do well at the Major. They always do well at the Major. So, simply based on that th on that fact, I think they're a better team than most sports, and they do better at Majors, so I'm gonna pick them. Now, FaZe Clan versus Team Liquid is a bit of a hard one, because FaZe Clan, uh, I think I saw some statistic that after they actually changed to the FaZe Org, they've won six out of their 21 games, and that's pretty crazy. Bad. So it's a win rate of 28%. Now, Liquid are actually quite good lately. Um, I'm not sure if it's enough to beat FaZe, because on paper, FaZe are much better. This is kind of a 50-50, in my opinion. Um, I think a lot of people would disagree, but I think this is quite 50-50. And um, therefore, I think it's pretty much unimportant who I pick. I'm going to pick Liquid, simply because I think they're in much better form these days. Um... But FaZe Clan have much more experience with Majors. I, they, they seem like a more experienced team. And therefore, I think that they might win it just based on experience. But I think Liquid will give them a good run for their money. Now, Fnatic Splice is not that hard. It's obviously going to be Splice. Just kidding. Can't really make jokes with this voice. But um, trying my best, boys. Um, I'm just going to pick Fnatic. Uh, I mean, like... The chances of Splice winning this matchup, they're very low. So I think most people will pick Fnatic here. Um, but yeah, I'm interested to see what happens actually, because it could, you never know what happens. Uh, not even at a major. Then we have Team Envious versus Counter Logic Gaming. Um, and I think that it's not unfair to actually give uh, Counter Logic Gaming some, um, some kind of a sticker here, because uh, Envious haven't been very good lately. CoG have been pretty good. I think CoG in the first game of Majors are always very good. And versus Envious, I think there's a pretty big chance that they're going to end up on Dust 2. And CoG always wins 16-14 on Dust 2 versus European top teams. That's how it is. In the best of one. Always. Now, <coughs> Astralis versus Gambit Gaming. I'm going to go with Astralis, not only because my heart says so, but also because they should be beating Gambit. But I'm actually going to, going to go out on a limb and say I think that Gambit will actually make it out of groups. Uh, I think they're very, very... Um, I think they've got a lot of potential. They're kind of like Team Ancient in the way that they have so much experience and a few players that maybe aren't so experienced, I guess you could say, but, but still have been in the top. And... Um, They've just been improving rapidly. That's how I, I kind of... Well, that's why I kind of say they're like Ancient. Uh, and I think they're just going to be improving even more going into this major. Now, Counter Logic Gaming, definitely a team um, who are maybe not known to choking, but at least failing, I'd say, and not really living up to expectations. And Envious are just really bad right now. So I think Gambit... I don't think it's going to happen, like, with a big... Uh, percentage of certainty or anything but I think there is definitely a chance that they're going to make it um, make it out of group so I'm actually hoping that that's going to happen now Navi Cloud9 I'm going to go straight with Navi I uh, don't even need to really talk about why I think I think that should be a, a pretty safe one but then again nothing is ever safe 
And for Virtus Pro G2, I'm going to be picking G2. Virtus have been um, really bad lately, and G2 have actually been pretty good. So we're going to be picking them, and those are going to be my picks for the day one. Now we're going to go into the fantasy team pick them, and I'm not going to be spending too much time with this one simply because I'm probably I usually don't play many of these days, but um, basically. Uh, as far as Commando goes, I think what we want is a guy with the name of Flusha. Because he usually is pretty good. And I actually have his sticker as well, so that's quite nice. Um, last time I picked him, he gave me a lot of good points, so that's very nice. We've got the Clutch King. And um, I think last time, Dupree got like an insane amount of clutches on the first day. I think he was like number one, I'm not sure. Um, and I had him as the entry frag, so that was not quite good. But um, Dupree does have quite good clutching capabilities. They are playing Gambit. I don't know how many clutches we're going to be seeing. Um, we could go with a player like Happy, simply because he does end up in clutches a lot. So I think we'll do that, actually. Uh, he is a lot... Oh, well, he has this Lurk role, you know. And he ends up in a lot of clutch situations, so... I don't really have any good pick. Uh, I actually looked at these already to decide what I was going to do, but I don't remember what I what I wanted for my um, for my clutch king. But it's going to go uh, to happy, right? I don't know. Okay. Now eco warrior, I think is one of the hardest ones, um, simply because pistol kills are kind of random, I'd say. But for this one, I'm going to be placing. Uh, Dupree, simply because uh, he's a super ni nice guy, and he's pretty good with pistols actually, so if he does pick up a few pistols, I think we'll see, holy shit, his sticker ex is expensive, but I think we'll see him um, picking up quite a few pistol kills, hopefully, and um, yeah, I got that already, so that's nice, um, now, wait, that's not for Entry Fragger, that's for Eco Warrior. Now for Entry Fragger, we're going to be going with a guy called Guardian. And a lot of people will probably pick this guy for Sniper, but I'm not going to do that. The reason is that um, I have another guy in mind for Sniper. And I know Guardian has a pretty good entry ratio with the op. So I'm hoping he gets a lot of Entry Frags. And then for the Sniper, it's a guy I picked last year as well. Absolutely nuts on the first day and has so many sniper kills and he is JDM He barely plays anything but sniper and he even is 420 euros. That's Definitely saying something we're gonna be picking that up. We're gonna be placing him as the Sniper here and hopefully with a bit of luck uh, Let's see where is envious Wait there one there and we still don't have Happy Sticker, but he's going in the Clutch King. Simply because I don't have any fucking clue who to put here. But um, I hope you have enjoyed the video, guys. Please uh, leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't. My name is Lito Safix, and I'm still very, very sick. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. And I hope you could even hear what I was saying, actually. <laughs>